Okay, what we have here is a leaky shower sump pump. And this one is also hooked to the dishwasher, so I have to replace it with a new one. So I have to disconnect those hoses and the wires for the pump and the switch inside and I just have to replace this thing today. So the first thing we do is we take these four screws out of the top with an appropriate Phillips head screwdriver. And you save the screws. Obviously, don't let them fall into the bilge because there's water down there. harder to get those out of the bills even if there wasn't water down there. These screws come up pretty easy. I'm just setting them up here. Out of the way take this lid off and we see all this water in here then we got to get rid of that water first disconnect the electrical and then disconnect the hoses okay so you undo these wire ties for the wires to try not to let them fall down into the bilge and any ones that fall down there you have to you have to go get them because they can get clogged in the build pump okay I got the, the lid off of this and Get some rubber gloves and I cleaned out the pump a little bit from some of these hairs and things. And we put them in this trash can. And then I found out that actually the switch is working. The switch is working. So I'm draining the water that way. But we need to clean this out and see if we can let it be able to last a little longer. So in order to clean this out, we've got to take this screen out of here. Put that in here for now. In the trash can. And get some paper towels. absorb in that water. Put it in that trash can. This is hard to do with one hand. With one hand with the camera in it. Stinky. Talk about dirty jobs. This is a real dirty job. Pusher and tight quarters. So after you've cleaned it out, then you turn on the shower and uh, 
see if it works. So it looks like it was just some hair clogging it up. So that's what we'll do. Is we'll just uh, make sure the shower drain has a good screen on it and put this screen back in and clean it out real good and just make sure it's working. Those kind of things get clogged in the pump. Okay, I cleaned this screen out, but it has a uh, cup taken out of it from last time because when I replaced this switch, this flow switch, it was going to hit the screen, so I cut part of that out. And it's been working fine, but now the float sticks and it's not consistent. Plus, we have a crack here and this screen doesn't screen out everything it should so we're going to replace it anyway. Okay, I've disconnected these wires to the pump and the switch, float switch. And we have two wires to connect when we have the new one. And all we have to do now is disconnect these three hose clamps with either a flathead screwdriver or or a nut driver. Now while I was taking off these hose clamps I dropped my screwdriver in the bilge. So one good thing to have is this handy dandy gripper tool and I just go down there and grab this screwdriver and bring it back up. Now I can commence loosening these hose clamps. I couldn't find my nut driver, so I'm using the big straight slotted screwdriver to loosen these hose clamps. Said it's hard to do with one hand when you have a camera. And you loosen those and you push them back on the hose. This might not be this is enough. Just loosen this one a little bit more. that back out of the way then we can see if these come off okay that one's now that's okay to let that go in the build because we have a build pump we got three build pumps that one's to the dish this one's to the dishwasher this one's from the uh, shower this is the drain to the shower and this is the out, this pumps it out to the ocean. This one pumps it in from the dishwasher. This one drains it. Let me say that again. This one drains it from the dishwasher into here, into the reservoir. This one drains it from the shower into the reservoir. And this one pumps it out to the ocean and drains that water. Okay, so now we've got it disconnected. And we've got screws down there that we have to disconnect. Um, I, don't know, I guess just on one side. Just on one side there. So then we'll take that whole box out. Okay, here's the new shower drain box. And the water from the shower comes in here. And the water from the dishwasher comes in here. And this pump, this pump switch, when it fills this box up, that pump switch goes off and this pump pumps it out the boat through this drain. 
So these have lines on them. These lines are for the pipe to hold, and then the then the um, the um, hose clamps go on the inside of these lines to hold the pipe on. So we want to cut. I'm going to cut behind both of these lines, so we still have that little ridge to hold the pipe and see what that. Okay, I use the hacksaw to open this cut these open them up so I can use them. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna kind of clean them out a little, clean up the cut. With a knife here. So they're cleaner. I don't want to clog. Now this pipe is bigger. It's actually going to go around here. And I could cut this one or I could leave it this way. But some stuff could get clogged up around here. So we may want to cut this back here, this one back here. But that's difficult because of this is in the way and this is in the way. So if we have a special tool like I will show you. Okay, in a so what we want to do on this pipe is cut on top here with this tool. This hex on cut on the bottom, so then I'll have a I'll have a way through to cut without getting in the way of these two pieces. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, what I've done is I've cut a notch here in the top, and then turn it over, and I cut another notch in this bottom. So this can go clear through now. Clear through. And then I can cut in this direction and in that direction to get my without without touching these other two ports. So what I've done is I've cut this one out behind in front of the lip or ridge and I've cut this one using this hacksaw and first I cut this way then I cut this way and so I had a notch and I could go all the way through and then I cut this direction then I went through and I cut this direction and so here's that that piece that I cut and so then it's just a matter of cleaning this out with a knife or a reamer or something and making it relatively clean for the plastic pipe. And before you disconnect the wires, you want to go over here to this one that says sump pump and you want to turn that off. And then you can go down and then you can take care of that. So we're now we're ready. We got these pipes cut. We're ready to install this thing. So we did we disconnected the electrical first. Now we'll hook it up last. So we're missing, this one must have dropped off. So we gotta find that, that hose clamp. Okay, I've got the box, the new box securely fastened on the pad there and the three hoses connected with the hose clamps and they don't have to be super tight, just snug, hand tight. 
because there's no pressure it's just drainage maybe a little bit of pressure not really very much and then all I got to do is hook up basically two wires to these two wires for the electrical and then test it okay the one of the better good ways to uh, strip these wires is to use a wire stripper like this it's like a pliers and it's got the little gauges and you just go about three eighths of an inch and you take those little pieces off okay now that you've got them gray to gray and black to black strip the wires and heat shrunk the connectors we can test it now by turning on the shower. Okay, we've got the shower turned up full blast. And we've got our sump pump all finished, all connected with the power. And working. Filling up and draining. Shower dishwasher drain all right praise the lord <laughs>